welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a Java project which is entitled as FADOHS framework for detection and integration of unstructured data of hate speech on Facebook using sentiment and emotion analysis which is an IEEE 2022 journal paper. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about this project. We all know that internet is growing day by day immensely. And similarly, social media is also growing towards the internet speed. In social media, there are all type of people. Few people use the hate speech. So hate speech is a form of expression that hurts a person or a community based on a race origin, religion, sexual orientation or any other kind of attributes. So in this paper, the authors have proposed a framework called FADOHS, so which combines the data analysis and natural language processing strategies to identify the hate speech. So here, the authors have used the clustering algorithm and kindly note that we are not going to use the same as mentioned in the base paper. So we are going to use the main objective of the paper and we are going to implement this hate speech detection using the sentence classification and identifying the expression or the emotion of the text the user has posted in the social media. Now let us see the execution of the project. So we have developed this project in Java using NetBeans IDE 8.2. So first open NetBeans IDE 8.2 and go to the file menu and click open project. So now let us import the project into the NetBeans IDE. So just go to the project folder and you can see the source code folder where you can see hate speech detection. Just select it and click open project. Now kindly wait till the complete project has been loaded into the NetBeans IDE. Here you can see the progress of it. It takes some time. Meanwhile, we will attach the database in the MySQL. So just go to the MySQL administrator and log in with the username and password of root and click OK. And now you can see the restore option here and then click the open backup file. And now again go to the project location where you can find the database folder and select the database folder and then click start restore. And now you can see the message the restore operation was finished successfully and then click close. Now you can close the MySQL administrator part because we have attached the database. Now I am coming back to the NetBeans IDE 8.2. So you can see the project is being loaded into the NetBeans IDE. So in case if you are seeing this error message the web pages part it is due to the template and a issue that is JavaScript issue that has been not matching the template with the IDE. So you can ignore it. This is not the error in the code. So just you can right click it and then select the run. Now kindly wait for a few minutes. And now you can see the home screen or welcome screen of the project with the project title and hate speech on Facebook using sentiment and emotion analysis. Now here you can see the options of admin, user and user registration. So the first admin part, we will be using the data set and we will be classifying the data set and we will be showing the labels of it. So as mentioned in the paper so we are going to use the unstructured data so first let me show you the data set so in the project folder you can see the fb data this is the data that is collected from the kaggle website which consists of the commands posted by the user so this is the data set raw data set which consists around 2000 97 data set record and here you can see that this does not contain any label like this is a hate speech or normal one so this is a normal text so now we are going to classify this text and we are going to label it 
now let us see that one so that we are going to do with two things that is one with the data set one with the real time that is posting a command from like the like the user so first let me go to the admin part and show you so this once if you click the admin menu it will be going to the admin login page it now you can just log in with the admin credentials like admin and admin and then click login button and once the login is successful you can just see the admin home screen and this is the admin home screen where you can see the options of analysis user details user data analysis and graph part so in the user and user details you can see it has been empty now because we are not entered any user just now we are running the project and user data analysis also it will be empty so first let me go to the analysis part so in the analysis part first we need to upload the data set that we have shown you so let me go to the project folder and select the fb data.csv file and then click the upload file and now you can see the data uploaded successfully message and click close now you can see the data set has been uploaded so here you can see the data set with the id and the command that is posted so this has been navigated in like uh, showing each page with the 10 commands so you can just click the navigation menu 1 2 3 4 5 and you can select that one by one you can see all the data set records which consists around 2097 data set record has been loaded now so now we are going to classify this this data set is now going to pre-process and based on the pre-processing and then the classification will be happening so now let us see that one so it takes some time so just click the start analysis and you can see the the page is being loading now you, if you go to the netbeans ide console part you can see now all the data set records each and every command is now been analyzed and the score is being calculated so according to the data that said that that command that is posted by the user now the classification will be done so as it consists of 2097 data set record each data set will be processed one by one only so it takes some time so kindly wait till that completion of it and now you can see the operation has been stopped all the uh, data set record has been processed so you can see the final uh, data set that is barren woman cannot be considered woman so that text is also been processed now and it is uh, now you can see in the browser part a message called data classification finished and click ok and now once after the classification is completed you can see the analyzed data so each and every data set record so in the console part you can see here which is been processed and it is been shown in the console part and in the front end part you can see that so the id what is the command and what is the sentiment score what is the sentiment type emotion type and what is the emotion score emotion type and hate bit and the label of it so in such way we are now process the data set so this is one type that we have done it and once if you go to the graph part you can see the graph and this is a static graph only because we are just uh, depicting the data set record so it is show, it is showing the de total data of 2097 data set record and how much hate speech data in that so it consists of 749 data set record so this is a static data set so sorry static graph only it is not a dynamic one and now let us go to the second part that is posting like a user command and let us check what is happening so now let me log out from this part so now let me create uh, some uh, user so i'll just go to the user page so as i am a new user i don't have the username and password so first let me go to the user registration once after clicking the user registration it will be navigated to the user registration page where you need to enter the username user email id mobile number address password and let me click register and now i have created a new user and the registration is success now one click ok now it will be navigated to the user login page where you need to enter the user mail and the password and click login 
and once the login is successful it will be navigated to the user home page so this is the user home page where you have options of command and posted command so in the command part let me post the, some commands and show you so i'll post some normal commands here with this user So let me post this command and once if you go to the posted command you can see what are the command that I have posted with the date and time of it you can see that one and let me post some other command and let me post this command so I have posted two command now and once if you go to the posted command you can see the two command that i have posted so let me log out and now let me go to the admin part and log in with the admin credentials and now let me go to the user details so in the user details earlier it was empty because there was no user and now you can see uh, one user has been created the, those details has been shown here with the id the name email phone number address status of the user and the last log time of it and now if you go to the user data analysis so in this user data analysis we will be classifying the classification of the command based on the user posted text so you, you can see that uh, I have given you the um, welcome all hope all are doing good so that has been uh, posted as the sentiment score zero and sentiment type is neutral and sentiment score and it is showing the emotion type as happiness and there is no any hate word in it and here also in the all the best you can see it there is no any hurt word in it and now let me log out on now let me go to the user registration let me create a new user called xx so i have created a new user the registration is success now and now it will be navigated to the user login page so now let me enter with the new registered user details and once the login is successful now let me go to the command and let me post some commands here and show you and here if you go to the posted commands you can see the post commands posted by this user So now I have posted a few commands here you can see the list so I have posted one two three four commands now let me log out and go to the admin part and see the classifications done for the commands posted by this user. So just go to the user details earlier there was one user and now you can see the second user and similarly if you go to user data analysis you can see the user posted commands here so here you can see the command first posted by the double x user you can see the hate word has been classified and you can see the assassin the word has been classified as a hate word here and this word has been classified as a hate word here and criminal has been classified as a hate word here and let me show you with a few other examples also so again let me go to the user part of this user so let me go to the other user and show you
so now with this user I have posted few other commands also now let us check with these commands so now let me log in to the admin part and now let me go to the user data analysis so where you can see the user id 1 so these are the ID, uh, user id 1 posted commands and here you can see again the hate words is been classified as these things negro and this one this one this one this one and everything has been classified as the hate word so if there is any hate word it will be classified here and here as a hate word if there is no hate word so it will not show this uh, there is no any hurt word and this word so in this way the user commands also will be classified using the sentiment analysis so we have done with the two types that is one with the data set record of 2097 data set record it has been classified and it is shown the sentiment score and the emotion and with the uh, and also with the user posted command so these two types are being done in this project and this is all about the project hate speech on Facebook using sentiment and emotion analysis. Thank you for watching.